Welcome to Family Product Reviews. If you are new here support us by subscribing. Today we will be reviewing the Hika Silicone Breastfeeding Manual Breast Pump Milk Pump 100 Food Grade Silicone BPA PVC, and phthalate free. The Hika has thicker silicone, and the opening of the neck of the pump is a bit wider. It was gentle, and easy to wash, and so not a hassle, like most breastfeeding pumping products. Also they can fall off if not on perfectly, or if a little foot kicks them off. If you know a new, or expecting mom who plans to breastfeed, get her one. Let me tell you, it freaking hurts taking it off. Feels like your nipple is literally ripping off. Not only is it excellent at the things it's sold for like catching the contralateral sides let down, and manual expression, but it's also key in unclogging ducts by putting warm water, and Epsom salt in it. Pet hair is a part of life? Overall for a cheap product it collects milk very easily. Make sure to watch a video on how to correctly put it and though you have to bend the flanges back, stick your nip in, then fold the flange forward. If you are a leaker, it's a great product to catch all the milk from your letdowns while baby is nursing on the opposite breast. Please buy this for all of your expecting friends, and yourself. Don't second guess yourself about it. It basically is able to catch extra milk while your baby feeds on the other side. If you're a first time mom, and already struggling to get breastfeeding down, it would be hard to manage having this as well. Holds well to allow for this on one side while you nurse on the other. The Hika has been a lifesaver during overnight feeds when the little one falls asleep after nursing on one breast. It does not work as a hand pump, but does collect milk from other breasts while feeding. Do not buy as a means of expressing milk on the go in place of a hand pump. If you worry about it staying on, there is a video that shows you a trick on how it can latch better. It can be a bit awkward to put on, and you feel like a milkmaid, but it is 100 worth it. However, it gets knocked over very easily, and I've spilt several laws of milk due to this. It also slips off your breast if you get breast milk on the part that suctions to your breast. It's pain-free, and foolproof as long as you view YouTube videos of how to latch it on. Having this simple product has allowed her to breastfeed without dripping milk everywhere and cleanly collect milk for storage. Don't worry if you don't overflow, being able to save a little here, and there is worth it, they add up. You don't have to worry about all of the tubes, and pieces that come with electric pumps. All you have to do is suction the Haka pump onto your opposite breast while breastfeeding, and it collects any leakage of milk. Buy the Haka pump. Give it to a friend. This should be your first, and only pump, it's that great. It is a thick rubber so it should last for a long time. But it does take a few washes to get the smell out of it. Laps the baby on one breast, and immediately put this silicone pump on the other breast. Long story short, this has saved me, and made feedings especially night feeding so much easier. It has to be bought separately, and for a little stopper it seems to cost too much. It took a long time back, and worth the ups to get it sent back. You have to pull the top down, then squeeze the bottle, and latch the top part to your boob, and let go the bottle. The hock is hard to clean if you don't have tiny fingers it as it's very narrow, and an awkward shape to it's difficult to get down there with a sponge. You need to pull the flange neck back, squeeze out air in bulb position then attach, and flip flange back. So fair warning, it might be a good idea to hold on to it while it's on. Thank you for watching. Do not forget to subscribe, and leave your comments below.